hi lovely people josie here and this is it is josie i'm glad to have you here for my old subscribers thank you for always tuning in and watching my videos and leaving those wonderful comments and if you're new here i document sewing related content and a few crafts here and there although not as much and anything sewing that i find that people would be interested in you would find it on this channel so if you're not subscribed you could go ahead and subscribe and also press the bell icon so youtube notifies you whenever i upload a new video and today's video as you may tell i'm showing you the patterns that have come with this month's simply sewing magazine in the past i've had a subscription with them which i cancelled about three years ago i had it for like a year because i found you got that was when i just got into active dressmaking i just found you could get free patterns when you purchase a magazine at a at a discounted price so i decided to go in and go the subscription again one because the recent issue i bought i found amazing patterns within and that time if you buy it in the store it's just under 10 pounds i could be wrong and there was a subscription offer where you could get six months subscription for just nine pounds that was a steal and my promise is always that if you find at least that one pattern you can sew up with it's worth it and if you're getting six issues for just 10 pounds it's a steal and so with each pattern comes about with about three patterns and i thought i'll show you the patterns that are coming that came with this issue and this was the first of my subscription and i think it's the july issue i received it two days ago as you may tell it has an interesting pattern and i'll start with the one i'm least excited about and this is the mago bag i've never made any bag per se apart from making a few drawstrings for the kids but other than that i've never made a bag it's not a pattern I'll get rid of because who knows, I keep changing the things I'm interested in. Who knows, one day I might be making a bag. It's learning bag making skills. I believe it's one entry into bag making. It doesn't seem complicated. And they show you the, the, it's the Mago bag from Lisa Lam. It's a perfect finishing touch to adding glam and style to your, to any outfit it's your basic cross body bag and i think this is made of fall leather or leather then it has a webbing handle what should i call it yeah whatever it is i've forgotten which name i would call it it's your basic bag then i also see another pattern which looks interesting and that's the loreen blouse by dg patterns DG patterns, I came across them on Etsy. I bought a botneck t-shirt once from them. That's when I knew about them. Someone had sewn up with their t-shirt pattern on Instagram and shared the, shared the name. So I went looking for them and I wanted a botneck pattern like the Jennifer Lauren Gabo top. So I looked for something similar and the DG patterns had it on Etsy and it was a bit cheaper. So I went for that. You want to save a penny. Who else is like me? Because you can agree that fabric and patterns are not the cheapest. So anyway, you can get a discount. It's worth it. This is their pattern. They produce it for Simply Sewing magazine. I don't know whether they sell it independently. But probably they do. And it comes in sizes 8 to 34. It has a high neckline with a few ties at the front. I like that it's a basic top. It also features elbow, elbow length sleeves that have an elastic, I think, underneath. It looks like a plain top if you look at the lines drawing. It looks quite plain, but I believe I like plain tops because they, I believe they give you enough room to hack the pattern. And I believe this can make us a beautiful top if you decide to cut it at the waistline. I mean a beautiful dress if you hack it into a dress. Cut it at the waistline, attach your elasticated or gathered skirt and attach the elastic within there. I believe it would turn out to be a beautiful top, a beautiful dress and it's giving me those ideas so a smart casual blouse for the summer and on a even on its own it would look beautiful over jeans and also tucked in a skirt or worn over skirts it's a beautiful top and if you're getting all these patterns for the price it's worth it and this pattern is drafted for sizes 8 to size 34 so a wide size range and it's recommended for light to medium weight woven fabrics. Recommendations, two meters of it. And fabrics such as cotton, viscose, lawn, and chambray. Yeah, it seems like an easy pattern that would come together very well. And they say pair the Lorraine blouse from DG patterns with jeans or a pencil skirt for a smart and stylish get up. 
it looks like a beautiful pattern and I'm yet to see more people sew up with it but it's one I'm likely to sew up I believe with the viscose it flows pretty nicely but I might tuck it into a dress I'll see how all that goes there are no plans to sew it up sooner I was excited when I found it in this magazine package and of course you can tell the, the pattern I'm most excited about this is the May Fair dress by Nina Lee Patent. I sewed up with about, I think, three of Nina Lee patterns, and I actually love them. I love the fit that I achieved with them. I know which alterations I have to make. And this Mayfair dress, she has had it for a number of years, probably two or three years. That's when it was released. So she has it as an independent pattern on our, on our website. And this time around, it was produced for the simply sewing magazine this pattern is recommended for neat fabrics and it comes in either maxi or a knee length version you have the option to go with elbow sleeves or short sleeves or cup sleeves cup sleeves i think i'll call them short sleeves which actually look amazing and they've got a tie which helps cinching the waist i believe it should easily come together no closures that's what i like about most neat dresses it should show up pretty fast I think when I make it, for it might be made up sooner because I've got a jersey that was gifted to me by Minova and I'm not yet sure about what to use it for, but I think this is a contender. And it's drafted for sizes 6 to 20 and it's recommended for fabrics that are knit fabrics with 25% crosswise stretch and with some drape that's viscose jersey, stretch velvet. Oh, soft cotton jerseys and I think that cotton I have is is soft enough and depending on which version you choose and the sleeves and the length that will determine the amount of fabric you need but it's ranging from 2.5 meters to probably 3.8 meters I think 38.8 meters is the most you'd use if you're going with a maxi version and then long sleeves and also if you're going with the bigger sizes and it's by nina lee pattern she has good patterns i love her pattern drafting and her patterns fit me really well because there are some pattern companies i don't buy from because their patterns don't really work for me they they are hard for me i struggle to fit them on my body so and i thought i'll give you a browse through this magazine to just show you whatever is in there's not much apart from a few tutorials that you might enjoy looking at and the other set off i'll go through it pretty fast so i don't take a lot of your time yeah and here they're showcasing the patterns and whatever is within the magazine here's patrick and the contributors to this issue this is the lady contributed the bag lisa lam then daniela Yes, she's the one who made the blouse. I think she's from the DJ Fabrics patterns. I think the DJ comes from her names. Daniela, I won't butcher her name. I won't read her middle name because I'll butcher it. Then Nina Lee Chang. Then Linda Mafuba, she contributed, I think, something. A hack of a pattern in here. Pin board. I've not gone through it, so I won't give you details. These are some patterns that have come in their magazines in the past. And I think you can buy them individually because I can recognize a few. I've, I have this, the spring dress. There are many more dresses in here. I'll share with you when there's something to share. I'll just browse through and you look through. There's not much to show here. Just don't want the video to go on for long. So talking about the sewing bee. Yeah, this is the Nina Lee Mayfair dress. It's actually an elegant dress. Depending on which fabric you can use, you can dress it up or dress it down. But I think it's a contender for some cotton jersey, liber art gallery jersey I have on me. And I wasn't so sure what to sew up with it. And I'll most likely sew up the short version, short sleeve version. Because I believe with the short sleeves, it's much easier to wear a jacket over. But anyway, also the elbow length will be okay since they are fitted. So it wouldn't fold within the jacket. This, And I'll go with the knee length version. And this is the knee length version in full that giving you ideas on accessorizing it definitely a denim like jacket comes in handy than sandals i like when they give you the pairing options and how you can wear it and then take a plunge they're showing you swimming costumes that you can sew up actually it's a review of so many swimming costumes 
This is by Friday Patterns. I wasn't keen on this particular pattern. It doesn't come with a magazine, but they're talking about it. I find ex it extremely revealing at the front. I don't know how you can avoid having accidents with the girls popping out, but yeah, I've looked at it, but I'm like, no. This is the Megan Nilsson swimsuit. I've got this pattern. I'm here to sew it up. I know we're going somewhere for summer. I'll see if I'll get the fabric to sew it up before we go away. Then there's a beach cover-up. I think they share with the tutorial now to make it. And there are also some toilet bags here. I don't know where the tutorial These are beach makes. I think they share with you how to make them. And there's also a sunglasses bag and a beach bag. I think all these tutorials come within the pattern. Yeah, this is this is a tutorial now to make the beach bag that we've just seen here. If you want to make more for your holidays, there you go. But that won't be for me. I won't be sewing any beach bag. I have enough bags. Then the waterproof ponchos. Oh, that's the cover-up that I saw. It's a poncho. It's a waterproof poncho. It wasn't a beach cover-up. My bad. Then you've got a tutorial now to sew sunglasses case and also scrunchies. I like these small tutorials. They are good for beginners if you want to just try sewing something without wasting a lot of fabric. Then here we're talking about the, they're talking about the Lorraine blouse. And they are showing you the various styling options. You've got black jeans over here, the den, indigo jeans. Then I like the paper bag denim skirt, which actually looks gorgeous. This is a nice top actually on its own. I've got some viscose on me. However, it's recommended for two meters of viscose. I always buy one meter or one and a half for blouses, but I might have some in my stash just in case I decide to sew it up. Then this is something written by Emily from self-assembly required i think she's talking about a sewing world i think they get a few sewers to come and write a column i don't know what that's about i'll spare you that the crafting and the culture and history of fashion a good read but not now then there's an easy breeze now this is a dress you can make with no pattern that's what they're telling us here i like that they have some editions of dresses they've got some dresses you can sew without a pattern so they share with you a tutorial how to create the bodice pattern using your t-shirt pattern and they show you the how to do it how to trace off your t-shirt your t-shirt that fits you well to trace off a, a grown on sleeve t-shirt pattern create the rectangles and the gathers actually it's a brilliant one because the dress looks cute it actually looks cute and very easy to put together that's something to try, worth trying. And I believe with that you can make it for many sizes, even for the little girls, because if you're just tracing a t-shirt, perfect. Then there's also a skirt option. Now, already we have three patterns. Then those two tutorials of items you can wear. I'm not counting the accessories that come with it that they tell you to show you how to make. But this is now a skirt, which seems like a gathered skirt. An easy one for a beginner. It has an elastic, then it has... A wrap or a layover. This is the skirt, with the bag that has been featured, which comes in yellow. It was made with some silver metallic leather or faux leather. Homegrown style. Yeah. I won't take you through all the detail here. These are all good reads, probably when I have the time to read, but I rarely have the time to read each and everything that comes in a magazine. Here they're giving a tutorial now to sew a certain sleeve using the spring dress that came with the issue I showed you here. I'll attach the link in the box below just in case you want to pick it up. And they're taking showing a bug here. Take a take a breath. If sewing isn't your only relaxing hobby, so a bag with a strap to hold your yoga mat and this design from Linda Mafuba. Oh, that's amazing. And then they're showing the cashmere new dress. Actually, this was released recently. It's the Rose Claire dress. And put your feet up is a poof, but you can't create. I'm not making any poof. Is there anyone like me with that you don't like sewing accessories like cushions, house? House furnishings, I feel it's a waste of precious time. If I'm not making a piece of clothing that I'll be wearing, I just don't feel like everything else, anything else is worth making. 
yeah it's showing how to make toys i'll go through this very fast yeah and a few tutorials here templates actually to sew up a few th few of the items i've shown you and i could say that brings us to the end of this magazine and actually they're telling you that they still have some back issues still in stock that you can buy however the one that had the spring dress sold out because that spring dress was quite famous many people bought it it was by me nina lee and it i think it was produced exclusively for this magazine because i don't think she has it on our website it sold out so they're showing you others that are still available and you can pick up each, each issue for just nine pounds and they're showing you which patterns will come in the next issue we shall have today and the buttons betha cardigan and we shall have this versatile jumpsuit. I don't know who the designer is, but I can't wait to see it. And let's see, this brings us to the end of today's issue. You could go ahead and actually buy a subscription. You save a lot than buying an individual issue. I just paid for a subscription, paid a direct debit for six months. And I'll probably cancel it then because after that it becomes a bit more expensive. I would rather pick up one as of when I find it in the store and if I find it interesting. Okay, let me know what you think about this issue. Is it a pattern, a magazine you might consider picking up? Otherwise, thank you for watching. And if you've sat through this video and are not subscribed to my channel, you could go ahead and subscribe. And press the bell icon too so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. And until next time, bye-bye.